Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder. Football Manager 20, our journeyman save. Uh, so this is uh, Ballatown FC, Season 2, Episode 4. And this should be going up on Friday, I believe. So hope you guys uh, have a good Friday, or are having a good Friday, have a good weekend. Um tell you what man all this stuff about the coronavirus is crazy and of course you know extremes in in every direction but uh you know seeing and hearing stuff from overseas uh my sister-in-law heard from some friends of hers in italy about how bad it is there so uh just thoughts out to you guys um it looks like here in the state states we're trying to kind of get a jump start on being prepared uh here in Houston which is the I don't know why I'm thinking it's the sixth largest city in the country I could be wrong but it's it's a big city but uh they just canceled the Houston Livestock Fair and Rodeo which is a two week long event uh so it, we're in the first week of it, and they've canceled the rest of it. Uh, in the NBA, they they announced today that there's actually going to be a game tomorrow uh, between uh, the Brooklyn Nets and the Golden State Warriors that's going to be played in an empty arena uh, with no fans. So I know some of you guys uh, with Premier Leagues, uh, Serie A or have already seen that kind of stuff happening. Uh, they're already looking down the road. Uh, Major League Baseball uh, opening day is the very end of the month, and they're talking about uh, baseball games being postponed or played in empty stadiums. Um, I got a lot of friends of mine. Uh, you know, we're big rock and roll people, so uh, you know, like I've got tickets to the to the big Motley Crue uh, reunion tour this summer. Uh, they're touring with uh, Def Leppard, Poison, and Joan Jett. And uh, so, you know, they were talking today, are those tours going to be canceled, postponed? Uh, you know, just all kind of crazy stuff. So rest assured, if we do go under quarantine, I will continue cranking out video for, for uh, you know, the eight to ten of you guys that are watching it. Much appreciated. And, uh, hey, we'll keep having some fun. Let's get into some uh, some real stuff. Oh, real quick. Um Aussie villain. Uh, I don't know if he subscribed to the channel, but uh, he did. He did uh, follow me on Twitter. So uh, Aussie villain. He uh, he's Australian. He does a football manager save. He's got a small channel, not as small as mine, but he does have a small channel. Uh, he's doing a lead save, and I made the comment he's with Ballatown right now in. His, one of his second saves, so I, I made the comment that it was funny that uh, we ended up in the same place. So if you haven't checked him out, check him out. You know, I like to support my fellow small, smaller uh, YouTubers. Uh, and then uh, did we have anybody else uh, subscribe recently? You know, I do like to recognize those. Uh, let's see. Anthony Jones... James Richards, he's been a subscriber, but he just commented recently. Uh, Q Potter, Eric Munnis Jr., Stuffed Gorilla, welcome. Uh, so that was three guys uh, roughly in the same day. Looks like I have lost about five to seven subscribers, which that happens. So I'm still seeking that elusive 500 threshold. But uh, we'll get there one day. We'll keep plugging away. Let's get to today's matches. Uh, let's see. Who did we play last time? New Saints. And was it Cardiff? I think it was Cardiff. So, uh, Yandeno, we had a 1-1 draw. Ray Doyle with our goal. Pontypridd in the third round of the Welsh Cup. We won 2-1. We did pick up an own goal. That was, oh, I want to show you this goal if I can. I think this was it. Great finish. Uh, Pernicock. I don't know. 
Pernicock. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, 3-1, Matthew Thomas up top, Lloyd Noble, Guy Holt with goals. They had a player sent off in the 79th minute. Uh, then we be, uh, lost to Connors Key, 3-0. That was brutal. Bangor City beat us 2-0, and Bangor City beat us again 4-0 in back-to-back -back matches. So we have not been playing well as of late. We're uh, two matches left here in the first stage, and we are in seventh position. Three points behind Yandudno and Barrytown. We do play Barrytown and Newtown today, so this could be crucial. We're doing well to avoid relegation. I'm not. I'm not really worried about that. Um, let's get into the match preview, and we'll talk a little bit about tactics. Um, I have not heard back on this, but uh, one of you guys, uh, let's see, uh, LFC Taz, uh, Lee, I guess he's a uh, Liverpool, right? Yeah, he is Liverpool because he made a comment about my uh, Manchester United uh, comment about a week ago. Uh, I didn't know how many people would catch that, but he did, and he said that made his day. But uh, there was a tactic I was looking at. I mentioned it from the Reckonist that supposedly had a 100-match unbeaten streak with Arsenal. And, um, you know, I wasn't really happy with it, but he said that he has used it in the past, and his comment was, they are usually the dog's bollocks. So I have a question out, but you guys can let me know. Uh, British slang is not my thing. Um, I, I think it's cool. But I don't know all of it. I don't know much of it. So dogs bollocks to me sounds bad. I did do a quick Google search, but it sounds like it means that it's really good. So just looking for clarification. So the dogs bollocks, is that a bad thing or is that a good thing? Let me know in the comments. All right. So we are at home. We're playing Barrytown. They are in strong form. So I've tweaked the tactics a little bit. Uh, there have been some more testing going on on some of the sites that I follow, uh, some of the guys that I use, specifically Nap. So this is some tactics that I, he, he has told, he has said that in the newest match engine that uh, the one-up top tactics, specifically uh, a 4-3-3 like this with two wingers or a 4-4-1-1, are the tactics to go to, or even this tactic. Um, this one is got getting a lot of positive reviews, and I have been using this one or this one as favorites, and this one as the underdog. So that's what I'm going to continue doing. All right, so we're going to have Harbottle in the goal, Wilson, Palfreyman on the sides, McDonald, Gmo in the center, uh, Holt in the defensive mid, Doyle and Penrith in the uh, central mid, Harding and Bamford on the wings, and Thomas up top. Uh, just to make sure, yes, I have turned off the offsides trap there, and we are good there. And while I'm in here, because I just changed these, I haven't recorded in a couple of days, so there's a there's a few things that I always tweak in these. And, oh, I know what it was. I didn't do that in the other one. I'm having some success going cautious. So we'll go with that. But that's the tactic I want. So let's go ahead and submit the team. Let me know if you guys would be interested. Because um, what I could do is, as part of my solo save, uh, we I could do some tactic testing with some. I mean, you guys can see these tactics, but you know, where if you would like me to do some tactic testing on some of these tactics, uh, you know, over a season, let me know. Because you know, usually I play, you know, usually I come home from work, I record an episode, I get one rendering, and then I kind of you know go sit in the living room with my wife, watch TV. And, you know, I play for a couple, you know, two or three hours on my laptop uh, on my solo save. So, you know, I could take screenshots of that and then talk about it on 
the uh, on, on my channel. And those would probably be shorter videos where I'm just more talking about, hey, you know, this is the tactic, a link to where to get it. Um, you know what I'm, you know, you, you know what I'm seeing, what kind of goal performance I'm getting, things of that nature. Um, if that's something you would like to see on my channel, let me know. Um, you know, I'm more about playing, but I don't. Oh my God, Stevens Lloyd just killed one of my guys. Oh no, no, no! I thought they, I thought he got around him and in front. Oh, uh, they call a penalty. No card. No card, which is surprising. Oh, that was so close, Harbottle. Good, good effort by the keeper. I thought Doyle got around him. You guys let me know in the comments what you thought. I, I thought he got around and got the ball. The ball went out at a 90-degree angle. Get creative. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. All right, well, I'm going to raise this up to attacking. And can we show some passion? There we go, fired up. They're not getting a lot of opportunities, but push forward. Yeah, we're not getting anything here. All right, come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. All right, there's a good clearance. Oh, good save, good save. All right, well, I may have an answer to, to that question about the dog's bollocks here momentarily. Looks like LFC Taz just liked my question. So he may reply to that here while we are. Oh, my God, off the woodwork. A high clearance, good block. All right. It is not... Not letting me give a shout here. That's cool. Let's get to halftime, and we're going to have to reevaluate. They put some shots on goal. Hmm. <laughs> so I've been having a lot of success. Now this is this is volume four, volume three. So we're because I've changed them, we're not quite as competent. So I'm kind of feeling kind of feeling bad here. All right, if I want to switch to this, all right, he's a defensive mid, mid center. Uh, Penrith, he can go up top, so we can do that, and that's a good swap. Let's go to the pep talk. Uh, yeah, we're going to go assert, uh, assertive. Um, I expect to see a much better showing. Oh, looks like I have a result. Uh, yes, L LFC Taz says it's better than good. So if, uh, you know, it's it's great. So I don't know. Maybe I need to go back and uh, give that a whirl on, a, on another save separately just to try it out. So we are, uh, yeah, we're not looking good here, fellas. All right, get creative. I need to start seeing something here, fellas. I have gone cautious here. All right. We were pressuring there. Oh, Stevens Lloyd just does him for fun. Harbottle makes an easy save, but that was not good by our center back. All right, let's uh, Bamford, Holly Woods, Declan's playing well, Doyle, Zach Wardley. All 
Yeah, I'm kind of kind of having some regret about changing that tactic. I was thinking that it was pretty much the same shape, but evidently there was enough tweaks that it uh, it's making a difference. Because, well, God, they're just, oh, my God. <laughs> the ball just sat there. It was like, come kick me, somebody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and Harding is hurt. Uh, Mid-right. All right, so we'll have to bring Roberts on. Show some passion. Palfrey, man, do something for us here, man. The good news is, we're, since we're only supposed to avoid relegation, oh, there's a nice through ball. Thomas! Oh, that was a chance to get one back. You know what? We're going to go. Let's go up to positive. Cleared out. Uh, falls right to their guy. In, oh, Holt's going to get sent off with that one, I'm pretty sure. No? No. All right, we'll just call that a good foul, maybe. I guess. All right, there's a good header out. We get the tackle. Of course, it goes right to their guy. Oh, Thomas on a run. He's on the break. Takes the long shot from the edge of the box. Can't get enough on it to find the net. Oh, yeah, we're going to regret that one. Only two chances, gave up six. Possession, that's the disappointing one because we usually... No, they, they did shit. Yeah, we train hard tomorrow, boys. Uh, well, that was crap. Ethan Hart... Oh, three to four months. Three to four months. Oh, that's one of our big loan players. He's been playing pretty solid. Five goals. I think he's one of our leading goal scorers. He is our leading goal scorer. Oh, that is crap. I think we are paying all of his. No, we're not paying anything. Okay, so that's, yeah. If we were paying his salary, I would say get rid of him. Three to four months. He's done for the season, right? Let's go back and look at last year. So after the playoffs, we go till the end of April. So he, yeah, he's done. So let's let's terminate the loan. Boy, I hate to do that because he was so good. But even at three months on the short side, he's done for the season. All right, we're going to terminate the loan. Uh, I'm going to go in and see if I can find somebody else. So he is attacking mid-right. Yeah. So who do we have over there now? Ken, well, that'll bring Tipton back in, and I'm not unhappy with Tipton. I'm not unhappy with Tipton. And he is one of our players. All right. Well, I think I need to move Thomas to the wing and play Bird up top. I think we're going to give that a run. All right. Well, we'll be back for the next match here in just a second. So I'll see you guys. All right. We are back. Um, so if we, we're currently in seventh, we're still three points off. Barry Towns moved up into third. Who does Jan Dendo play today? They play Carmathan Town, who are bottom of the table on 19 points. We play Newtown. I'm going to say they're going to win because that's our only shot is to, is to win and have them lose. And actually, that isn't going to help us anyway. 
because we're minus 21 goal differential with those guys. Uh, that's horrible. We just haven't scored at all. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we're going to end up finishing seventh because they can't, Newtown can't catch us. So, we're going to finish seventh. So, we'll be in that loser's bracket again. But that does bode well for us moving forward through the rest of the season that we can do, you know, decently well. All right. Well, let's get to today's match. Uh, I'm just disappointed. I was hoping to get into the winner's bracket, but. Maybe next year. I tell you what, I'm going to have to give some thought to leaving at the end of the season. But again, we're not we're not gaining anything reputation wise because we haven't won anything. But the finances here are killing us because remember, I had cut almost a hundred thousand dollars in the off season, and we were still about six or eight thousand dollars over our payroll budget. And then they hacked another hundred thousand off or whatever it is. So now we're back to being sixty thousand over payroll. So I just, you know, I don't know. I, yeah. All right, let's see. Match preview. We are on the road. We're not huge underdogs, but we are underdogs. Let's go. Wow, where is? Thomas. Thomas is at 86%. You know what? I'm going to edit this. No, it says at least 80. And it still doesn't have him in there? Bamford. Gareth Jones. Yeah, I want him in there. I want Tipton in there. All right. I do want Bird up top. That's good. Penrith moves up there. So we'll have Doyle. And let's go with Linehan here. Wilson, Woods on the bench, Bennett, Pelfreyman on the bench, Jamo, McDonald. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, well, that that's why, huh? Shit. What did I say? Or what did it say? Two under 19 players. So if we go here, Doyle, well, I've got, okay, I'm confused. I was confused, man. Who did it just have me, who did I just send down? Johnson is 18. Oh, that's what it is. So Doyle, all right, uh, hmm. All right, so if we bench him, then I need, I guess I add him, huh? I guess that's what it is. Damn it. Oh, boy. All right, prove a point. I just need some, to see some action up top here, man. All right. Linehan. Into the box. Oh, it's there. Declan McDonald, fifth of the season. That makes our center back the co-high scoring goal scorer for us this season. That's crappy. <laughs> Who's your leading goal scorer? Is it your striker? No. Is it your number 10? No. Is it your winger? No. Well, geez, who is it? It's the guy that plays right in front of the goalkeeper. Good God. I think we'll get a little bit better with either of these tactics because, you know, as we develop them a little bit better. Oh, that was not good. 
Oh, missed the tackle. And Wilson stomps him in the box. Good job, Wilson. No, oh, and Harbottle goes the wrong way. And that's Gary Davis's second goal of the season. Hooray. Oh, purple shirt for the umpire. That's interesting. Oh, damn it. All right, show some passion. Bennett's frustrated. Oh, Jamo is wound up. All right, we're holding possession at least. All right, so they are doing well. No no yellow cards, knock on wood. Ooh, a kickoff highlight. That's that's scary. Well, some quick one touch passing. Loses it. Is that Oh, that's my number 9. That's Th that's Thomas the playing wing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, stolen by Penrith the number 10 today. And that shows why I usually had him playing in the midfield. <laughs> All right, let's demand more. Ooh, pressure. Pressure's on. All right. Declan McDonald is getting a little tired. He is playing the best, though. Let's bring uh, Palfreyman into the center there. Anybody playing horrifically? Not really. I mean, nobody's playing great, but nobody's just playing utter shit. All right, Jamo is pressured. All right, Thomas. Attacking mid left. What is I4? I4 has a 12 finishing. Lee Jones. All right, you know what? Let's bring Lee Jones on. And then Phil Bird has the better crossing, so let's swap them over. And Lewis Wilson on the left for Ollie Woods. Let's get a look at Ollie for about 10, 10 minutes or so. Into the box. Oh, who was that? Come on, Jones. You've got to do a better job than that. And offsides. Thank goodness. Yeah, that looks like one of those real close ones from that camera angle you can't tell. Somebody went up for a header and just completely bottle jobbed it. All right, two to one on shots, nine of 12 on target. All right. Uh, I'm going to go cautious, unlucky. So we pick up one point out of our last two matches. Gee whiz. That's horrible. Horrible. They drew, so we would have we would have been behind them anyway, no without goal differential. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We're gonna do the uh we reached the fourth round, so this no longer is important. We are probably gonna lose. So we'll skip that. We'll come back somewhere in the playoffs. Um, maybe we just saw Newtown. We just saw Barrytown. Maybe we come back. No, because I don't want to. Mm -mm -mm. Penrose Carmen. Well, tell you what, I'm gonna skip a match here. Let's come back for Airbus. Skip Carmathan Town. Do Colwyn Bay. That'll be the next episode. And then we'll close out with Penricotch and Carmathan Town. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Always up for debate or discussion in my brain, but that's what we're going to plan for. Let's plan for that. All right, guys. Oh, pity like today. Hit the pity like button. Subscribe if you're new or if you haven't done it yet, and hope to see you back next episode. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.